So have you ever been scrolling through Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and you see an ad that maybe you've seen like once or twice before, and you're like, yeah, I get it. I've seen this, not interested, and you keep scrolling. But then 10 minutes later, it pops up again, and then again the next day, and then again, and again, and again, and again, and you're convinced that this freaking ad is gonna stalk you forever. Yeah. Me too. So today I am going to buy and try the products from those ads that just don't stop following me wherever I go. You win this time marketing algorithms, you got me you win. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sierra. I make new videos like this every single Friday and you can always subscribe if you want more videos like this one. All right, now let's get into it. So for the past three days, I did a screen recording of every single ad that I was served on Facebook and Instagram. I feel like those are the two places I tend to get the most targeted ads. And the rules that I set for myself were that if I saw an ad three times, then I would order it. But it had to be from a brand that I have have never purchased from before. It doesn't really make sense to order for this video from brands that I like already use and love. The point is that I'm trying these brands that keep advertising to me for the first time and then giving my honest review of the product. Okay, so first one is I keep getting advertised Albion Fit and specifically their swimwear on Instagram and Facebook. I got three ads from them literally on the first day of recording these ads and then I actually saw it another two times. So I saw this ad five times throughout the past couple days. And when I finally clicked the link, I was shocked by the prices. It was like $80 per piece. That's like $160 for a swimsuit. I've definitely never had a swimsuit for that price. I get most of my swimsuits from like Target, Hollister, Airy, Torrid. So for $160, this better be a friggin' good swimsuit. <laughs> Sierra from the future. So when I sat down and was ordering the Albion Fit swimsuit, I noticed that they had a maternity tab on their website, which I was definitely interested in because at the time I was about six and a half weeks pregnant. But what I thought was really cool is that when I clicked this maternity tab, it turns out they don't sell actual, just like straight maternity swimsuits. Some of their swimsuits are designed for women to be able to wear before, during, and after pregnancy. So they're a little bit more adjustable, which back then, I thought was really cool because I was expecting to be like six months pregnant over summer. But now I still think that's really cool because I can still wear this swimsuit even though I'm not pregnant. And hopefully someday in the future, when I am pregnant again, I will get to keep this swimsuit and get more use out of it. So I saw this swimsuit that had been in the ad that I saw and was also listed as a maternity friendly swimsuit. So I ordered that one. So I got it in an extra, extra large. It was $128. Yeah, $128 for a swimsuit, but the total with tax and shipping was $133.95. This ad, has been chasing me for months. I am not surprised at all that it ended up in this video. It is for a women's shaving subscription called Billy. Even after I saw this ad three times and ordered, they still kept advertising to me. I'm convinced it's just never gonna stop. Now I already have a shaving subscription. It's Dollar Shave Club, not sponsored, but I have worked with them in the past. But anyways, I clicked on the ad and it took me to their website where I took their starter quiz. The starter box is $9 and it comes comes with their razor, a little magnetic holder, and two cartridges. And I also added their shaving cream to my cart because that was part of the ad and that was $8. And then it says that every month they will send me four cartridges for $9. There was no one-time purchase option. I had to do the subscription. So unless this is actually better than Dollar Shave, I need to remember to cancel this subscription, but we'll find out in like a week or so when the package gets delivered. The total was 18 41 and shipping was free. So I feel like that's actually a really fair price for everything that I got. Next up, we have an ad from a brand that I had never seen before this week. It's a shoe company called Rothy's. These are machine washable, sustainably made shoes, which I actually think is really cool. And it says that they're made from recycled water bottles and they look pretty cute too. When I clicked on the website, they had so many different styles, but they were pretty expensive at $125 a pair. I saw a different pair of shoes in each of the ads that they showed me. So I figured that since the focus of all of them was the machine washable aspect, I'd go with the bright white slip-on sneakers. And we'll really put that uh, washability to the test. Y'all know I cannot keep anything white even remotely clean. 
I love the look of white sneakers. It's a really cute idea, but this is what my Adidas look like. This is what I have done to them. It's not cute. So this could be a game changer. The total was $136.32. So we will put them to the test when the package gets here. This ad, this freaking ad, you guys, it follows me everywhere. It haunts me in my sleep. I must be in some sort of like group or demographic that this brand just likes to spam the crap out of because I always see ads for this brand Anise and their boob masks and butt masks. Like literally a face mask. Like think about a nice, you know, calming face mask, but for your boobs and your butt. They must have spent so much money advertising to me over the past few months. Like you guys thought the Billy one was bad. This brand is on a whole nother level. Even after I saw this ad three times in like the first hour of recording this video and I clicked on the link and went through the ordering, I still kept seeing it. I saw this ad 11 times, 11 times. That is absurd. They have spent so much money marketing to me. Honestly, they've earned it. <laughs> And the thing with this product is I, I kind of hate it for how gimmicky it is. Like there are already so many beauty products out there for women. Like they're kind of solving a problem that doesn't exist. Like, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you don't need a $35 mask for your butt. Your butt is fine without the $35 mask. But also I'm kind of a total sucker for all things like beauty and spa and skincare. I already spend so much money on like face masks and bath bombs. I'm kind of their perfect idiot for this kind of thing, which maybe is why they were targeting me with the ads so much. And I forgot to say what I actually ordered from Anise. So I placed an order for the Calm Your Tits boob mask. With tax and shipping and everything, it was $41.47. And last but not least, MeUndies. I feel like MeUndies used to sponsor like every podcast that I listen to. I, I love the Jenna and Julian podcast and they used to work with them all the time. I feel like I came super close to ordering with their promo code like so many times, but I just never actually did. So after seeing their ad three times, it is finally time to try MeUndies. I actually saw their ad eight times while recording this for the past few days. They were advertising these like matching couple sets and I actually thought the ad was super freaking cute. It kind of sold me on the product. They had same sex couples, older couples, couples of different sizes and ethnicities. It was really like cute and inclusive and we love inclusive advertising. So I did a matching set for Steven and I since that's what the ad was for. They have an option to order their subscription service or do a one-time purchase. So I did the one-time order and it was $80.11 with tax and shipping and everything. Okay, so everything is ordered. Now I just have to wait until the packages arrive and then we will give everything a solid review. Well, I have to wait. You guys don't. You guys get to see that right now. Hi, hello. It is the future and we're in a new location. Also, the filming background is still in progress. I've got some cool wallpaper coming in a couple days. So this will probably be different the next time you see it or maybe the time after the next time you see it. Anyways, let's try some products. So we've got Billy, Rothy's, Anise, Albion, and and me undies all ready to go. And the Billy razor package actually arrived way earlier than the others. So I tried this one out first. I was gonna wait until all of the products got here so I could like film unboxing them all at the same time. But um, I really wanna shave my armpits and I don't wanna wait any longer. So we're gonna unbox Billy and try it. Here is the box. Again, a great reminder that if I don't love this, I need to cancel the subscription. We have the shaving cream. And then inside this, we have a razor head. Ooh, little trial sizes of the shave cream and body lotion. The holder for the razor, a little booklet, I'm assuming, about my razor. And my razor. Let's open this up. It looks, I really like the like simplistic kind of like bright colored packaging. It looks really cool. Feels like a normal razor, looks like a normal razor. Now here's the thing. I wanted to put this ad to the test because in this specific ad, the models that they were using had like significant tufts of body hair, like looked like they probably hadn't shaved for a couple months and the razor went right through it. Now here's the thing. 
I am not the kind of girl who shaves like every day, every other day, e even once a week. So this ad in particular intrigued me. Like they went right through that hairy armpit. When I ordered this, it had already been like two weeks since I last shaved. And I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna put this off a little bit. That way we can really put this razor to the test. But now I'm filming another video tomorrow and I don't really wanna have like month long armpit hair just for my personal preference. Nothing wrong with body hair, just for me. I do like to be shaven. So uh, it's the perfect time to put this razor to the test. Let's head to the bathroom. I was trying to figure out how the magnetic holder works because this is what it looks like. So I was, I'm just being dumb. There's a magnet on the inside here. So it attaches like that. And then I think this is adhesive. So you can put it in your shower. So that's cool. And as I promised, I prepared for this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had armpit hair that was this long. Can it go through it the way it does in the Instagram ad? Shaving cream. If this actually just goes right through my armpit hair, I'm gonna be shocked. Cause it looks like a regular razor. It doesn't look any different. All right. Are we ready for this? I mean, it took off a lot, but it definitely wasn't like the ad. Let's see how many just single shaves I have to do. Three, four, five, six, seven. See, this is just a normal razor. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with this razor, but it definitely did not work like the ad. Now, see, now that's fine. I thought it was gonna be some magical sorcery that would take all my hair off in one stroke, but it does not seem like that is the case. Okay, you know what? Before I shave my legs with the belly razor, I wanna test something. I have my Dollar Shave Club razor right here and an unshaved pit. I wanna see how many strokes, just to compare, it takes to handle this. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and then I'm gonna do a couple of these. I feel like the shave is pretty much the same. Got all the hairs. I'm kind of impressed by that. Okay, here it definitely left a few of the hairs behind. Let's try the Dollar Shave Club razor. Okay, that didn't leave any behind. That time it left a few behind. I'm kind of convinced that the Dollar Shave Club razor and the Billy razor are almost exactly the same. Okay, I am showered, I am shaven, and here are my final thoughts on Billy. So I did notice that as I was shaving my legs, the Billy razor definitely did start to get clogged up a little bit and started to miss more hair as I went. That's pretty normal though, but I will say the Dollar Shave Club razor did not clog up as fast and it didn't miss as many hairs. But honestly, there wasn't a huge difference between them at all. They were incredibly similar. The Billy Razor is a lot lighter, so I guess it just depends what you want. Definitely better and cheaper than most like drugstore razors that you'll get. And it was lightweight. I liked that it came with the little like holder for the shower, that was cool. And I did also like the shaving cream. My legs feel soft and smooth and I didn't nick myself anywhere with either razor. So that being said, is Billy some fantastic miracle razor that can take off all your armpit hair in one swoop? Absolutely not. But is it a good moderately priced razor with a good subscription model? I'd say so. So the question is, do I wanna cancel my Dollar Shave subscription and go for Billy instead? Can't go wrong either way. I feel like both are good. The nice thing about Dollar Shave though is Steven also has a subscription to them so then our stuff comes at the same time and I don't have to think about it. So I think I'm just gonna stick with Dollar Shave Club but I do really like the Billy Razor. It's a decent price and uh, I thought the packaging was cool so I would recommend. I would say it's a pretty good razor, but it's not some magical, fantastic miracle razor. It's just a razor, a good razor. The next item that arrived was the swimsuit from Albion Fit. And I'm actually really excited to try this one out. So let's open this. Got my receipt, just a sweet reminder of how much money I blew on this swimsuit. <laughs> and the swimsuit. 
Okay, this fabric actually does feel really high quality. My body has changed a lot in, I mean, my body's always changing, but I feel like specifically the past three months in getting pregnant and then having a miscarriage and then now being quarantined. I feel like honestly, I'm not sure what size I am anymore. So I'm glad that I did go with the extra extra large. And maybe this will fit perfect, let's find out. So first impression of this swimsuit, I feel pretty freaking cute. I feel very confident in this swimsuit. I am not normally a big fan of one pieces. I feel like they can sometimes make my body look a little bit frumpy. You know, as a shorter, thicker girl, that's one of those insecurities that I am still working through. And so I usually stay away from one pieces because I feel like they kind of shorten my torso, but I feel like this actually looks really, really nice. And you can tell that this is just so well constructed and the quality and the material is really, really high. Even just the way that the fabric kind of indents at my waist and then loosens out a little bit more at the hips to help with that hourglass shape. You can tell with little details like that, that there was really a lot of thought that got put into the design of this swimsuit. And I really appreciate that, especially with the hefty price tag of this swimsuit. I think things like that should be expected. There's also plenty of coverage on the butt and the chest. More more of a modest swimsuit for sure, so it really just depends on your preferences. Now let's talk about some negatives because the swimsuit is not all perfect. It's meant to be worn kind of like half off the shoulder like this, but I find that at least for me, and I do have kind of petite shoulders, that these straps just fall down as soon as I like wiggle a little bit. And I don't think this is how it's meant to be worn. If these straps were a little bit more elastic or just a little bit tighter, I think they would stay in this position a little bit better. But the way that they are now on my figure, I think these would end up getting really, really annoying. And while there is built-in support in the way of cups, it's not really doing that much, especially since these straps are doing nothing for support. I feel like this isn't a swimsuit that I would wanna jump up and down or play beach volleyball in. So that being said, I just don't picture myself wearing this a lot because it's just not super convenient in the support or the straps. So as much as I love this swimsuit, like just looking at it in the viewfinder of the camera, I really, really love the way this looks. I'm not willing to spend $130 on a swimsuit just so that it looks cute in pictures. So I do think I'm gonna be returning this swimsuit, but I'm actually interested in exchanging it for a different swimsuit or potentially placing an order with Albion Fit swimsuit line in the future, because I think the quality and the construction of this suit is really, really wonderful. But just for me and my preferences and my figure, it's not quite perfect. Package number three that arrived at my doorstep are the washable shoes from Rothy's. So let's open this up. I like that the shipping box is just the shoe box. I feel like that's really cool, especially for a company that seems to be about sustainability and being eco-friendly. I feel like that's a really good idea. And here are our shoes. These feel very lightweight and the material feels nice. They feel very well constructed and they are like bright white. They are very, very clean, very, very fresh. And I feel like if these weren't washable shoes, they'd be ruined in like a couple weeks because they're, they're just, they're gonna get dirty so quick. I already know it. Now here's the thing. In testing out the durability, the comfortability, the washability of these shoes, when I was originally planning this video, I was gonna wear these to Disneyland and try to test them out that way. Now, obviously that is not gonna be able to happen anymore. Not only am I personally self-quarantining, but Disneyland is actually completely closed. So these are not gonna see the, the floors of Main Street for a very long time. But since I still want to test these out, get them a little dirty, I figured the one thing that is safe to do and test these out is to just go on a nice little hike, a little walk by myself, maybe accidentally step in a muddy puddle Oops. And then we'll toss these in the washer and see uh, just how clean they are in the end. All right, so here are my shoes. <laughs> 
And overall, after wearing these shoes for a whole day, I'm, I'm really pleasantly surprised. They are actually very comfortable. So here is our before the wash shot. These are definitely, definitely dirty. So we'll remove the insoles, place them in the washing machine along with my dirty, dirty shoes. I'm pretty sure this is a mild detergent. It says it's for sensitive skin, so hopefully that's good. Delicates. Cold wash. All right, see you in 46 minutes. All right, so the shoes are pretty much dry. They're still a bit damp, but overall, I think this is pretty much our end product. So as you can see, definitely still some dirt and some like scuffs from the concrete. It did seem to get out the grass stain entirely and quite a bit of the dirt in the mud, but not all of it. It was definitely pretty easy and convenient to wash these. There really isn't much you have to do other than removing the soles and tossing them in the wash. So I do appreciate them being low maintenance like that, but these definitely aren't gonna be shoes that stay white forever. You know, it's possible that if I got like bleach and like hand scrubbed out these stains that they would come out, but it's not as simple as the ad would lead you to believe of just toss them in the wash and they're good as new. I think these are objectively a really good shoe. They're well made, they're comfortable, I love that they're sustainable, and I was reading a little bit more on their website today and it turns out they're actually trying to be zero waste, which is huge. And the shoes are completely made from recycled plastic, which is really, really cool. And also kind of explains the price a little bit because I'm sure that's a bit of an expensive process to transform the old plastic into a literal pair of shoes. So I'm not mad about the $100 price point. I feel like it makes sense. And these are clearly very well constructed. I love how lightweight they are. I love how stretchy the material is and they're actually really comfortable and supportive. Overall, I think it's a fantastic shoe. I really like the quality and the style, but at least for the white ones, they just aren't gonna stay white forever. They're not some magical white sneaker that will never get dirt on it. Our fourth package and the one that I am arguably the most intrigued by is the boob mask from Anise. So let's open this up. It is the Calm your tits, matcha and honey infused boob mask. I am so intrigued by this. And, and here's the other thing. When I ordered this, I didn't really have any chest acne. That wasn't something that I was dealing with, but we've got some stuff for this to actually really test now because my chest has been breaking out like crazy. I actually, the other day when I was in the shower, I was like, you know what? I'm looking forward to trying this calm your tits mask. I think I'm gonna try this for the next five days every day, and we'll see if we can get some solid results or if this is just a load of crap. All right, so I've got our boob mask here, and I went to their website to read the instructions on how to apply, how much to apply, all of that to make sure that I really give this a fair shake. So it says that this is an intensely nourishing boob mask enriched with collagen, green tea, and organic honey that firms, protect and clarifies. Apply a thin layer of the mask to your boobs, nipples, and underneath your boobs and your chest. Okay, so you're really applying this all over. In the photos of the product and the ad, you know, the girls are like wearing bras and it's just kind of in their chest area. But I guess that makes sense because if you're putting it all over your boobs and your nipples, you can't really post a photo of that as an ad. When mask is fully dry, 20 to 30 minutes, wipe off with a warm, damp towel. And it says you're supposed to use about two fingers worth, applying an even thin layer to your boobs and your nipples. So I'm gonna put this all over, but I'll film first me just applying it to this area, the area I'm comfortable showing on the internet. It feels really nice. <laughs> it's very like cooling. How far up should I go? I'm doing more of a neck mask than a boob mask right now. All right, I'm actually gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna try to spread this out a little bit more. So I do think I did it a little bit thick. All right, I'm gonna take my bra off and apply it everywhere. I'll wait 30 minutes, then take it off and then tell you guys what I'm thinking. And this is how much I ended up using to cover my entire boobs. I only took a little bit more than what you guys saw. I just really ended up like thinning out what I had already applied to cover everything. All right, it has been just under 30 minutes and I am gonna wipe this whole thing off. 
Also, this is a weird thing to let dry because I literally put it all over my boobs. So if I put my arm down, now the inside of my arm gets covered in the mask. And this is a small thing of product. There is not a lot of product in here. I feel like I'd maybe get, I don't know, 10 uses out of this. So it's pretty expensive when you think about per use. And I don't really wanna be wasting any of it on the outside of my arms. All right, I'm trying to wipe this off with tissues because I don't wanna use one of my washcloth. I feel like it would ruin it because this is such like a thick kind of like milky material. And this is just a mess to get off. Oh my gosh. And I literally have this all over my chest. This is, you know what? I think I'm just gonna hop in the shower real quick. All right, boob mask is washed off. And I do have to say, I was really surprised at how soft my skin felt after I washed it off. I was like, oh my gosh, whose skin is this? This is really soft. This is not my skin. And since, you know, drying off, putting on my pajamas, the, the softness has definitely remained. But I actually could see this helping with acne because I do already feel a little bit of a change in that even though my skin feels soft, it does feel like it kind of dried out the acne a little bit where it doesn't feel so oily and like it's just getting worse. I I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple days I actually do start to notice a big difference in the acne on my chest. And it definitely felt good. It was definitely, you know, like soothing and cooling and relaxing, even if it did feel kind of weird to apply and let dry. So I'll try this for the next four nights and uh, I'll check in with you guys and let me know my final thoughts. Day two, day three, day four, and day five. <laughs> all right, so I have successfully slathered that boob mask all over for the past five days. And here are uh, my thoughts on it. So let's start with the negatives, a very good place to start. First of all, it is a pain to let dry. You can't really do anything. You can't put on a shirt. It, it, it got all over my arms without fail every single time. Also, it's a really small container for a really big price. You don't get a lot of bang for your buck. And it's definitely not like a life-changing must-need product. This is very much a product that is solving a need that doesn't exist. There's no reason that, that I need a boob mask. But I will say my boobs feel undeniably softer. Like the skin is just so soft. Whatever is in that mask is definitely nourishing for the skin. And I actually did notice a bit of an improvement in my chest acne, whether that just be, you know, the, it getting better over time or actually from the mask. I'm not sure, but uh, I do feel like the mask helped a little bit, especially with the acne that I get like in between my boobs. I don't really have any products that I use in that area. So this was definitely, I think a help. But like I said, this is not a product I'm gonna be using daily. This is not a must have, but it is a fun little, you know, pampering thing to do. The fact that you have to apply it all over your boobs kind of makes it a good way to like get in touch with your body in a way. I used about half of the container this week on the five applications and I did apply it all over four of the five times. On day three or four, I'm not sure which, I actually just decided to kind of apply it to the middle of my chest and I really liked that more. It was easier to let it dry. It didn't get all over my arms. I used a lot less product and that was the main area that I was liking this product. Will I order again? Um, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm gonna see how I feel and how, you know, my chest acne is after using up the rest of this container and I will use it up. But like I said, just applying a smaller amount to just like the affected areas of my chest, not all over. And I'll probably use it, I don't know, once a week, once every two weeks. If applying a boob mask is something that makes you feel like you're taking care of yourself, you're showing yourself some love, you're pampering yourself, then go for it. But I wouldn't say this is something I'm gonna be like recommending a ton. And the last package that I received was from Me Undies, And there was actually a little bit of an issue with this order. So I got an email from them four days after I placed the order saying that the bralette that I ordered was no longer in stock and they had made a mistake. So they offered to either refund me or I could choose a different bralette. And the same bralette was in stock just in a different size and a different color. 
So I picked the same U-back bralette, but in the color Sky and a 2XL. Also, Steven is sitting here doing the audio for me. Steven, I got something for you from MeUndies. Uh-oh, what is it? <laughs> I mean, it's MeUndies. What do you mean, what is it? What do you think I got you? I got you undies. They're you undies. Me undies, you undies, us undies. We go match. Oh, here they are. Nice pair of boxers for Steven. Uh, they actually do feel really soft. Me undies, their whole thing is that their fabric is supposed to be super soft. I feel like they sponsor every podcast I listen to, so I could probably just do the whole ad read right here. <laughs> but they're very like stretchy, soft. Here you go, tell me what you think. Yeah, they feel good. Very elastic, kind of like a swimsuit, dare I say. And then we have my underwear here. Same material, same stretchiness. And I'm assuming this is my not matching bralette, because it was supposed to be matching. Pretty simple, pretty standard. I feel like I don't have much to say about this until I actually try it. So let's cut to the chase. And I've got on my me undies here and uh, I feel way more positively about these than I expected to. You know, I'm really picky with my underwear. And when I find like, not even just a brand of underwear that I like, but like a specific style, I pretty much just wear that. And while I'm not totally sure if these underwear are on that level to become like my new staple, I do really like them. I think they're really comfy. I think they're really soft. The elastic like sits comfortably on my hips and the bralette's pretty good too. I feel like the the fabric is definitely the main draw of MeUndies. They are very, very soft and comfortable. And so far it feels like the elastic won't dig into my skin, which is huge. There are a couple of drawbacks though that I'm not crazy about. First of all, the bralette, offers virtually no support. I do think the 2XL is the right size for me, so it actually kind of worked out well that the XL was sold out. But even though these straps are thick, I don't think they're really tight enough to be giving me the support that I would want in a bralette. But I do like that it's built more like a sports bra, so it does give more support than a bralette with like really thin straps would. I think I'll actually wear both of these pieces quite a lot, especially now being on lockdown at home. I feel like I haven't worn a real bra in like forever. So bralettes for the win, and I'm happy to have another one in my collection. And it's kind of fun that Steven and I get to match. Isn't that fun? We can have like a little pajama party. Well, only half of you match with me. Okay, well, you can just ignore this. Now we match. <laughs> I do think it's worth the price. The price on the MeUndies was pretty much standard for what I would expect. I'm not gonna be rushing to my computer to place my next MeUndies order. I'm definitely not gonna join their like monthly subscription service because like I said, I am really picky with my underwear and my bralettes. I know what I like, I have what I like, and these aren't better than what I really, really like but I would consider it. I would consider ordering from MeUndies again if I do end up getting a ton of wear out of these two items. So MeUndies, yeah, I feel like I'm pretty positive about them. I consider ordering from them again. I like the material, I like the quality, I like the fit, but it's nothing like crazy, mind-blowing, life-changing. Their ads would make you think that though with how freaking aggressive they are with their marketing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I personally have been using YouTube YouTube as such an escape for me in this very crazy time. Like I think I've probably watched more YouTube in the past couple weeks than I have in my entire life. But in terms of making content, I really wasn't sure what was the right approach in coming back and starting to make videos again because there's so much craziness going on in the world. I, I kind of want my channel to be a little bit of an escape, just be entertaining, but I also know that there's a lot going on in the world right now that is way more important than trying dumb products from Instagram ads. So I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter, what were your thoughts on me making content again during this pandemic? And like 98% of you guys were like, please, please make videos, please keep it entertaining. We need something to watch during this crazy time. So that's what I decided to do, but I do think it's really important to be aware and be informed and be respectful of where the world is right now. So I do hope that you guys are being responsible and social distancing. It's really, really important. Now more than ever, we all need to focus on being good global citizens. And as much as social distancing sucks and being cooped up all day is, you know, not the most fun thing in the world, it is way better than the alternative. So please stay home, please do your part. And I will do my best to keep making videos and making things for you guys to watch and laugh at me. Four. Yeah, new videos twice a week for the next month or so. 
Also, I am vlogging a ton, so if you wanna check out my vlogs, those will be linked in the description. And I have a podcast where I post new episodes every Monday. So there's a ton of Sierra content that I'm making if you want to keep yourself busy. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you guys on Friday? Friday, I will see you on Friday, bye. <laughs>